If you are looking for a simple, easy, cheap solution to finding your quadcopter or airplane after you crash it out of sight, could be tall grass, could be soybean, could be corn, any type of crop, well then you should definitely take a look at the VFly Beacon. This is a self-powered uh, drone beeper or buzzer and it's really pretty cool. I'll have links in the description for you to check it out. And that's really all that uh, you need to know, pretty much. Uh, but if you want to stick around, I'm going to talk more about it. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it and some of the neat things about it and compare it to the VFly Finder 2, which was also very cool. And I have a video about that, which you can check out. Stick around. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. So good to be here with you. And we're talking about the VFly Beacon uh, drone beeper. And this thing, it, it run, right now it runs about $18. Uh, I think VFly has a deal where you can get three of them for about $48. And that might be too expensive for you, but you have to kind of weigh that against how much is it worth you know, to be able to find a quadcopter or airplane or whatever you're flying you know is it is that going to be worth it because there have been times when i have crashed something in tall grass or in a field like maybe i don't know at flight fest and i'm thinking man i wish i had a beeper on there because I don't know where it went down, and it's just a huge area. The other cool thing about this actually is that it has a, uh, it actually has a light right there. You can see it. there's an LED um, little right there. And actually, if we turn it on here, you can see it blink. The operation is very simple. You just, there's a little button right here, and you just hold that down for like two to five seconds. And then it will give you a little beep. Ooh, you see that bright flash? I mean, that like, I, like I'm seeing spots now because this thing is so bright. It does have a, a light sensor, so it will turn on only at night to save battery power um, when it is actually alarming, that is. And as long as you keep it moving, as long as it senses motion, it will not beep. Now, once you set it down and you set it still like this, um, it's going to do two little soft beeps like every few every few seconds and that's nice because this way um, if you are putting it on your quadcopter and then you set it down and you forget about it well this kind of reminds you that oh my beeper is on and then if it's just sitting there it will start alarming after five minutes which is basically just a much louder beep it will also alarm if it senses a crash so it actually has a little gyro sensor in here and so if it detects a hard impact it will automatically go into the uh, the alarming mode which can be kind of nice because then you don't have to wait five minutes let's see if we can get it to do it right here was that hard enough yep i think it was so see here it's beeping more frequently and then let's wait a little bit and it will start beeping. It'll go into alarm mode in, in like 30 seconds. It's going to do it, I promise. Oh my gosh, that is really loud. Yep, there it is again. Okay, so now it's in alarm mode. The other thing that this has, which I think is kind of a weird feature, it's like an anti-theft feature. I'm using, making quotations with my with my hands. Um, and so if you try and pick it up, it'll start beeping really loudly. And it might be hard to tell on the, it might be hard to tell on the, the video, but it is actually so loud. Like it's like a fire alarm. Um, it, 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 it's kind of hurting my ears actually. But anyway, if we cover the, up the light, let me see if we can, get it so that it's dark enough so that you can see the LED. Let me turn off all the lights and see if we can get it, get the LED to flash to show you. Wow, there it is. So you can barely see it, but uh, yeah, so it's, it's not really able to focus on the, uh, wow, look at that. Oh man, brightness. Wow. Yeah. So this, this is very, very bright. Like it's like lighting up the whole room whenever it flashes. 
which is really fantastic. Okay, so to actually turn off the beeper, which you will definitely want to do once you find it, you just press and hold that button again and then it makes a very soft little beep beep and it lets you know that it's off. So uh, so yeah, so this is really cool. Uh, again, the whole like anti-theft alarm feature, I'm not sure if that's really very useful or not, but one thing that I could see, what you know, why that would be cool is maybe if there's, I don't know, maybe the alarm gets set off and then your quadcopter is stuck in a tree or something and it's like kind of moving around. I don't know, maybe that would set off that alarm and that would actually help you find it better so not really sure that's pretty much it as far as the operation you can uh, change the sensitivity of the gyro a little bit but I don't really see much point in that and so it's just a very it's a very simple uh, pretty much all-in-one solution uh, in the let's see in the actual case vfly does provide a little uh, uh, sticky adhesive uh, adhesive foam double-sided as well as a zip tie so that you can actually attach your your beeper to whatever you need to. You can see here on the bottom, it has its own little battery, very tiny little battery, but it says that it will work for up to about 30 hours. I have not tested this. I do not really want it beeping for 30 hours, but suffice it to say, it's definitely plenty of time. I mean, you could look for your quadcopter all night long. Um, and again, it won't flash the LED unless it's actually dark enough to uh, to see it, which is nice, because then it's not wasting battery on the LED. As far as actually charging the battery, it does have this little micro USB port here, and you just plug it into just like just like charging a phone or something, and it will charge up the battery for you. So what you end up with is a just a really nice, compact, small, very lightweight package that is self-contained. You just you can just stick it on your quadcopter or whatever, and you're good to go. This is the budget basher quadcopter right here and you're good to go you don't have to solder wires you don't have to uh, make little connectors or anything like that and now is probably a good time to talk about some of the differences between the vfly finder 2 which i have right here and actually is installed right here on the budget basher you can see it's installed right there i really really like these I think um, after they sent me one of them, I, I went out and bought three more to put on all of my quadcopters. And I have this one wired into the uh, flight controller board. And the advantage is you can turn on the beeper whenever you want for the Finder 2. And you can continually charge the, the beeper battery through the flight battery on your, on your aircraft. The downside is that you have to actually solder it into the flight controller and what I did here it did not come with an adapter to plug it into like a servo port on an airplane so I made my own little adapter and this way I can plug it into the servo port it still charges the battery the the onboard battery and I can set it off whenever I want to by programming the uh, my transmitter for that servo channel so that's cool but it is some extra steps and it's definitely not going to be great for beginners. The Beacon, on the other hand, is a very just easy plug and play unit. Again, you just have to make sure that you charge it up on its own. But aside from that, you just stick it on whatever you need to and you're good to go. Speaking of sticking it onto things, how to actually attach it, you can, of course, just you know, tape it, use that double-sided uh, double foam tape stuff, or you could zip tie it. What I was playing around with is I thought, gee, maybe we could just use Velcro because then this way you could theoretically strap it to your uh, battery strap here, you know, go around the battery, you know, strap it around, and then you could, uh, or you could even like, depending on the size of your strap, you could have it strapped on here and then kind of almost like wrap it around it and then you you know it's probably not going to come out and that would be one simple way of doing it here is the v bat there's a little airplane i made and you could i could just put a little piece of velcro of course something this small you want to make sure that the it's a good spot for the weight cuz it's not you know it's not heavy but it's it might affect very small airplanes and you could just stick it right on there just stick it on that velcro spot and then you're good to go 
and you just, you know, when you're ready to fly, you just turn it on and then you have that beeper there that will help you find your plane when you lose it. Here's the Golden Jet. Love this plane. This is actually one of my favorite planes. It actually flies very well, uh, even though it looks like trash. But I put a little, vel uh, little piece of Velcro. You could do either side of the Velcro. Just stick it right on there and boom, you're good to go. Now I have a beeper on this quadcopter, which is actually great because uh, I don't actually have any extra channels on my um, receiver here. So I couldn't really install a, uh, a, a the, the other model, the Finder 2, even if I wanted to. As I have it set up with the Velcro, it weighs five grams. So that is the V-Fly Beacon self-powered drone beeper. Uh, if you think that this could be a worthwhile investment to add to your RC fleet, you can check the description text below. I have links where you can purchase this from Amazon or Banggood or even from the manufacturer themselves. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.